Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Cooking With Me, Janet Barry. Today's recipe, I chose something for the summer, summer's around the corner, an Italian Sicilian potato salad, four main ingredients. But wait, I always forget this each and every video. Please subscribe to my channel. Next to subscribe is a little bell, click that, so you'll get notifications on all my recipes. And please like and share. My um, channel success depends on you. So, back to our recipe. Four main ingredients. Cucumber. Red potato. You can use an all-purpose or a firm potato so it's not going to fall apart in the salad when you toss it. Red onion. And stream beans so years ago when we made when my mom made this salad we usually made it on uh, meatless days which were fridays we also made it when you know there was no money for meat uh, and we made it for parties so years ago when we made this salad it was made with all-purpose potatoes i remember my mother would peel the bag dice it up boil the potatoes cut the cucumbers season all uh red onion and she would use canned uh, French style beans, salt, pepper, um, oil, whatever oil she had in the house, and wine vinegar. And that was the salad, and it was all tossed together. Today, it's a little different, it's a little more fancier. So, when you, especially when you go to delis, you'll see this, it's made nicer. So I cleaned my beans. I'm going to put this in boiling water. I'm going to boil them until they're soft not you know they'll have still a little bite to it we don't want them mushy i like the flavor of the red potato i'm going to roast those in the oven until they're nice and crispy i'm going to roast it with some um, olive oil salt and pepper and we're going to slice up some red onion so i'll bring you in and i'll let you see here's my potatoes you see how nice my red potatoes are and how you slice those is pretty easy I'm just going to cut it in half and slice it put some oil and vinegar I'm sorry put some olive oil salt and pepper on it toss it I'm going to put that in the oven at 350 as my potatoes are cooking my cucumber we take out the seeds. You know, seeds are what makes a cucumber, I hear, repeat on you. And not everybody likes the seeds. So in this recipe, I use five pounds of red potato, three cucumbers, a very simple, Got to eat one. The red onion I cut right down the center. I mean, really, you can cut it any way you want. You know, smell the onion. If you can smell the onion, um, then it's probably going rotten, and that repeats on you also. Don't use old onions. Use nice, fresh onions, fresh, firm cucumbers. And so when my potatoes are cooked and my beans are cooked, we'll be back and we'll put this all together. Okay, here are our cooked beans. They still have a little snap to it. They're cooked perfectly. Here is two red onions. That's about a pound and a half to two pounds of string beans. Three cucumbers. My potatoes, you can see how nice and roasted they are. It's five pounds of red potatoes. See how fancy that looks? So I'm going to add salt to taste. I'm not a big salt uh, person. Some freshly ground pepper. And we're using red wine vinegar. I'm not using the olive oil straight. I'm using 50% olive oil. And I'm using vegetable oil because I'm putting this in the refrigerator. 
If I use all olive oil, it will harden. And look at this. Now I'm just going to toss this. Look how beautiful that looks. That's beautiful. It's inexpensive with a glass of wine, a nice piece of um, ciabatta bread or some toasted garlic bread. This is the perfect meal. You could eat this all by itself. Um, eat a piece of steak with it, fish, whatever you want. Serve it at a party. You know, we're starting to come out now out of um, this pandemic. Um, we're going into phase two. So I'm sure we'll have gatherings now of 10 people. Look at that. Ooh, look how beautiful that looks. Okay. Let's see, I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm. A little more vinegar. Red wine vinegar. This is pretty much to taste. You don't have to be so crazy about the measurements. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Just to let you know, my husband came by and already took some. And he's not even a vegetable person. So let's just grab a little. And as you can see, look how delicious that looks. My potatoes are perfectly roasted. Mmm. The beans still have a bite to it. The onions are nice and fresh. Oh my goodness. Cucumbers are firm. It's perfect. So I like to tell you about my next video. My next video is going to be a lot longer than this video. It's going to be on blackened chicken, which is great in the summertime. You can do it outside on the barbecue. Um, and it's going to be with a beef spicy mayo. It's a recipe from 20 years ago. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So anyway, be safe to the next video. Ciao, ciao. And thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell and share and like and do all those good things. Ciao, ciao.